when I first started in the industry, I, I loved film. I was just a girl who loved film. But I never really saw people like me making film in a way that, that I thought I could. And so I decided to get into film publicity instead, and just so I could work around film. I got to observe filmmakers on set. I got to learn more about the amazing women and black women and black men who've gone before me in this kind of, on this path, and uh, started to get my confidence up. And I just took the risk to kind of put that business aside and to start making films. And so that's why the Sundance moment is, for me, that kind of, you, you've done it, you know, you can do this. That's what I really saw this as, just a push, just encouragement, just, uh, you know, we hear your voice, you know, and, and there's something there and keep going. I'm Ava DuVernay and our film is Middle of Nowhere and we're playing in U.S. dramatic competition at the Sundance Film Festival. Middle of Nowhere is a love story. It's a complicated love story. Ruby is a happily married woman who loses her husband to incarceration. And while he's serving time, she's also serving time. You know, you always see these stories and the women are like leaving the prison and then you follow the, the inmates. You know, you follow the incarcerated man. What happens to her? <laughs> Where did she go? You know, I wanted to follow her. And so I just wanted to be true to that story. I spoke with many women, dozens and dozens of women over the two, three years that I was tinkering on this while I was doing my other job. In my neighborhood, I saw this all the time. Um, you know, this kind of epidemic of incarceration really affects black and brown communities disproportionately. And you know, the stories and the refrains was always the same. No matter what the crime was, no matter what the relationship was, whether it was a mother, a daughter, a sister, a wife, you know, it always came down to a person who's not dead. I mean, they're alive. They're just not physically with you. And how you maintain that relationship with this kind of ghost, you know, who's there but's not there. When you really get down to it, that's the struggle. You know, my favorite films are the ones, you know, something like A Winter's Bone or Frozen River. I thought I knew what those women's lives were like, but I didn't really know until a director brought me into that world. I hope that Middle of Nowhere does that for people that think they know what it feels like to have a man in jail and live in Compton, and you think you know what that story is. But I'm hoping to show you, you know, a side of it that you may not really know. And, uh, and I think by sharing stories like that, we start to know each other, and I think that's so important.